What up, Rafa Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. We are back on Carifesta Avenue. This is Carifesta Avenue in Georgetown, Guyana. We are running beside the National Park. That's the National Park here in Georgetown, Guyana. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. People are out there running on the track, walking. And playing. And over in this direction, there is the manatee pond. I've actually shown video of the manatees feeding one morning. I was lucky to come out here and see them. And this is back at Carifest Avenue. Somebody wanted to know what happened to this hotel that is being built on Carifest Avenue. Now I'm back in this neighborhood for two reasons. One is to show you the progress on the hotel that's being built here. The last time I brought you an update on this hotel project. It's about six months ago, I believe. And there's a debate about whether it was a Qatari group or a Dubai group. What I do know is this assets group that is building this hotel is from the Middle East. So it's a Middle East group that's building this hotel here at Carifesta Avenue. But the, the second point I want to make is that this land belonged to St. Stanislaus College. So the land on which this hotel resort is being planned, being built, belonged to a school, a high school in Guyana at this end. The other half of it belonged to the Guyana National Service, which is another uh, public service institution like the Peace Corps, so the Guyana National Service in Guyana is like the Peace Corps in the US. The government seized this land and gave it to or sold it to the Middle East group that is building this hotel behind this wall. So the first thing they did is they put up this barrier, this fence that you can't see over, and then the assets group put up their posters. So the point I'm making is something that I said in a previous video this week where I said I was happy that the Christchurch Secondary School was being built, rebuilt at the location where it was and people took umbrage. All of the political um, types for the political party that now runs the current government started saying all sorts of crazy things about whether the government is good or whether the government is bad. That is not the point. The point is that the government has seized land from schools before. This is what the government did in 2024. Earlier this year, they seized the land from St. Stanislaus College and gave it to the Qatari group or the Dubai group, whichever group it is that's building this resort. So we were quite expecting the government to seize the land under St. George's School and under Christchurch Secondary School because they had already set the precedent. They had already shown that this is what they wanted to do. They wanted to take the land that is valuable for commercial development take that land away from the schools and turn it over to the developers. That is why, like I said in that video, I was pleasantly surprised that they rebuilt the school since uh, Christchurch Secondary School at the location where the school was destroyed. Okay, so for those of you nitwits who seem to think that every criticism of infrastructure that is being built here is an attack on your political party. This is nonsense. It is simply 
expecting a certain standard that is international standards. Guyana now has an economy that is five times greater. In other words, Guyana has earned five times the amount of GDP that we had four years ago. In 2019, Guyana's GDP was somewhere around four billion US dollars. Now it's over 20 billion US dollars. So Guyana's GDP is about five to six times greater than it was four years ago. And that money is being used to build this infrastructure. This is a drain that's being built by the government, I suppose. Drainage works are being built around the country, being built by the government, but they are not building high quality, good quality infrastructure for the money that's being spent. And the money that's being spent is actually real US dollars. Guyana earns over $2 billion annually now from oil, from the profits and royalties, payments from oil. Remember, when this contract was signed, the current government, that is the political party that runs the current government, says that it was a 2% contract, that they were going to cancel the contract and renegotiate. None of that has been done. The reason why is because, as I said in very many videos before, it was a good contract. The contract actually gives Guyana 14.25% and at 650 billion, 650,000 barrels of oil produced per day in Guyana, that gives Guyana over $2 billion per year or over 250 million US dollars per month from oil production. So that's where we're coming from. Now, where is this development? This is the resort this development is located at the seawall remember when they started building this stuff or taking over this land i said a better move would be to reclaim land from the sea because all along the coast here there are mud flats some of the mud flats are barely covered in fact when the sea comes in at high tide some of those mud flats are still exposed and that is why i suggested that a better way to do this would have been to simply take reclaim land from the sea now this is what they've done so far you can see based on looking over the fence here that no construction has been done yet right looking over the fence this is the St. Stanislaus ground that is being Right, that's St. Stanislaus ground. You can also see in the distance where uh, G Ghana National Service ground used to be. No construction has begun yet. In other words, the construction of this hotel has not started. They haven't even put in, begun to put in the foundation. And the question is why? So they're going to build this uh, major resort hotel at this location and that is what it's supposed to look like when it's completed. Right? The, the posters tell you what it's going to look like when it's completed but they have not started the construction of this hotel yet and the reason why is because people still oppose the government seizing this land for this construction project and so a lot of the a lot of the opposition to this seizing of the land is taking place in the courts in other words the the issue is working its way through the courts right now. Yeah, so the issue of seizing this land is working its way through the courts. People who oppose government simply seizing land from the schools or from 
public institutions and turning it over to investors are challenging that decision in court and that's probably why construction on this project has not started yet.